It's not my fault. Well, where'd he go then, you tramp? Who you calling a tramp? I loved Johnny. Not exclusively, I'll grant you, but I loved him. Now he's gone. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Johnny's disappeared, gone crazy, abducted by aliens. I bet it was you, Hopkins. Yeah. Since you turned up, everything's gone really weird. King of the school. Who's the daddy-o now, huh? My love has gone. Find him, King. Quit poking me. You're both acting crazy. Cut it out. Now tell me, where's Johnny? <sighs> I don't know. Nobody's seen him. He got a little brokenhearted after we split up, but it's not my fault. Someone said they saw a couple of asylum orderlies driving up to his house. But you know how people love to talk. Johnny wasn't crazy. Asylum orderlies? He was a real leader. Not like you, Jimmy. Look, I'll get your boy back, all right? See you later, freaks. So, as you can probably see, in Chapter 5, uh, Jimmy becomes, like, the biggest thing in pretty much the entire Bulwark town. But, like, everything just seems to be getting out of control outside the school. And I have no idea where I'm going. Um, so yeah, Johnny's missing. You can probably guess where he's at already. If you played the game, you know what's happening. Um... But for now, we have to head into the asylum. Are you kidding me? I just wasted all that time when Bite was over here. So yeah. Um, like I've said already, Chapter 5 is where bombs get dropped and just everything just turns around really drastically. And I have no idea where I'm heading exactly. I'm just heading into a bunch of dead ends. Um, Asylum isn't even through here. Okay, I got this. Sorry guys for kind of wasting your time already. I'm heading in circles as you can probably see. But, um, yeah, I'm just glad I'm almost done with the story because, like, this game has so many things that you can do when you're not in a story mission that I've just gotten distracted by that because I kinda enjoy doing like side things a little more and so um... you know when I started this walkthrough it was just side things, errands, I was doing a lot of classes and then I realized I was really behind in the story which is usually what you would do like first in a walkthrough um... Where am I going? I think I'm going the right way though. Yeah. So, um, when I was in about the middle of the walkthrough, I think, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do the story missions and nothing else. Alright, here we are. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm only like seven missions away from finishing it, uh, which is always good. Not that I don't like the story, I've just I've played it so many times um, that just replaying it is not as fun as it used to be. I still appreciate the game, of course. It's a great classic. And even if I didn't understand the story when I first got the game, because I was a little young, um, it's still like one of the best games I've ever played. And of course I can't hear sound anymore, how wonderful. Anyway, we have to find a way into the asylum, which is easy enough. There we go. Um. Snake past the order lines. This is just like the the that mission we had to find um, Mr. Galloway. It's the exact same thing, honestly. I think he's even in the same room as uh, Mr. Galloway. Although these patrols know. are Don't a care. little bit sure strict. Lot, huh? Okay. I got this. I got these. Oh crap. This is not like Splinter Cell. You cannot hide in the shadows. So that kind of sucks. But I'm getting there. God, there's patrols everywhere. Oh, crap, 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 crap. 
You can see on the map, like, their vision range. Even though if this was in real life, you could see me across, like, the room just like that. Are you kidding me? Get out of here, or I'm the cops. Damn it! I hate it when this happens. Sorry if I spoke a little too high. <sighs> Classic. This... It doesn't matter if this is your first time playing the game, this is going to happen you, to you at least once. And it's freaking annoying. Um, and lately it's been so rainy in the game. I think I don't know if it's part of the story, but uh, it's kind of weird. Of course, you know, m many of the Rockstar games, like, when the the story is in its finishing point um like everything seems to change like throughout the story everything's just fine the weather's normal and it's normal period and stuff but then when you get to like that ending everything is changed like in san andreas like everything like everything was destroyed the balls were taking over well i don't know if that's just rockstar but um yeah, I'm going to get through this guy as fast as possible. There we go. There we go. I'm such a boss. I'm not even looking at the game, I'm just looking at Jimmy. We have to sneak behind this guy, by the way. Don't go the other way. crazy about what I did and you know it! You'd have done the same! There we go. Jimmy, you gotta get me out of here! You gotta get into the control room to open the door. Get an orderly uniform from the laundry room. The dropout set me up. What are you waiting for? Okay, so this is the fun part. And we actually get a pretty cool reward out of this, which I'm pretty sure you guys know by now what it is. Damn it, he almost saw me. Oh crap. Is he gonna come through here? Please don't. Oh crap. He's not gonna see me, he's not gonna see me. Quick, there we go. I got this. Huh? Typical rock star stuff. In many of the GTAs we have to do this. Change into a dumb outfit just to get through doors and stuff. And this reminds me of that GTA 4 mission. Where you had to change into like doctor's clothes to kill some guy. Um, only that in this game, I mean, how can you like not notice that Jimmy is a freaking teenager? Because usually people this young don't work at an asylum. You work your break. Up, man. Okay, so cool. here we go. But I guess these guys didn't really go to school or something. There's John. Okay. How do I do this? Well, it seems all the patients are free now. Good for them. Uh oh. Find a way out of the asylum. Of course, Jimmy is a strong enough guy, and, uh,. This stuff is pretty easy for him. Oh, this is neat. Other way. There we go. And all of a sudden, there's like no guards around here. They should have put some guards to make the mission like a lot more challenging. Here we are. Thanks for getting me out, Jimmy. How'd you get in there to begin with? Some of the local kids said they'd gotten together with Lola. I went a little crazy. I can believe that. Yeah, anyway, so I gotta find Lola, see if it's true or not. See ya. All right, Johnny. Have fun. And there we go. Johnny is now our friend again. I think he should have just stayed in the asylum, because he, done. in my opinion, he has a bit of a uh, mental issue.
when it comes to uh, emotions, if you know what I mean. But anyway guys, that's pretty much it. Of course, we get the Asylum Worker outfit. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.